Okay, so this is going to be uh, the second video as far as delegation goes. Um, so at this point, we have set up the case, we saved it, had it ready to go. So then someone can come in, step in, do the alignment, attach the buttons, and be, now we're just looking at how do we turn these into physical models. So it's pretty straightforward. First thing we need to do is we're going to, we're going to go through this entire panel. We're going to start at the top and work our way down. So I'm going to turn off the opposing, so I'm just looking at the maxilla. I'm going, I'm going to uh, add a label. So we've got demo patient. Typically, I just have first, uh, last name, first initial, so we'll pretend it's patient demo. Um, and then I'm just going to hover over top of the model, move the model to where I want it, and the label stays in the center of the screen. I like to engrave, means it ends up being embedded in the model. I'm going to click apply. It's going to take a little while. It, that little warning is always going to pop up. That's telling me that... Um, it's essentially telling me not to put the label on the base of the model up here because we're going to hollow these models out. They're going to come out as though there's nothing on the inside. Uh, it's going to save us resin, save us print time potentially. Um, it's uh, depending on your printer. But uh, anyway, uh, it's something you do. And so if you put your labels in there, that's going to affect that. Your labels are going to disappear. So just don't do that. Don't put your labels in the base if you're going to hollow your models out. The hollowing is addressed up in the tools, preferences. We have videos that cover that. Um, if you need any help with that. This step does, um, doesn't take time for the user, but it does take time just for the software to process it. Obviously, it has to go through every single model, uh, and then it will be done. So I'm not going to walk through this. This video, I'm going to keep it short. I'm not going to show you the lower, the mandible as well. I'm just going to get through the upper. We would do the same thing on the mandible. Uh, pretty straightforward, though. And now I'm going to add a print platform. These models are not perfectly flat. Um, not yet in the software, so I'm going to right click, add platform, and now I'm going to make sure first that there are no gaps between the platform and the, mo and the model. Shove that forward, and now that it's embedded in there, I'm going to scale it properly by t using these little round globes. Okay, and I'm just making sure that the platform doesn't need to stick beyond the model, it's not going to hurt anything. It's just not helping anything either. It's wasting resin. This looks pretty good here. This looks like you know, it's overhanging a bit here. So we'll go ahead and stretch that out here. And that's done. Now you can also tilt the platform this way or that way. Generally, it's going to be this way if you have teeth that are retroclined, tip backward, or if you are missing a posterior tooth. Um, but that's a you know more complex situation. But generally speaking, uh, perpendicular is just fine. So I've, add, I've um, labeled the models, I've added a platform, now I'm just going to export the models. And I'm going to call this Upper Models. You need to do this for both the upper and the lower. When you export models, it does not automatically um, export uh, to the all of them. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this video because this, again, takes a little bit of while. So go get your coffee, get some to drink, and let it do its thing. Okay, so it's finished exporting, and now I'm going to create the report. And let's go ahead and where is that? Okay, so we've exported the report. I'm just going to uh, remind us of the IPR values and whatnot. Uh, the report function will actually be changed soon too. That's going to be uh, some pretty cool advancements there. Okay, so at this point we're done with the software. Once again, save, <laughs> save your work so you can come back and uh, change things if necessary. And now we can also go in and uh, open up our printing software. For instance, this is Rayware. Um, you can use lots of different ones, well, whichever printer you're using. But this is just the example I'll show you. I've got this folder right here. Here's these upper models. I'm just going to click the, the first three. We tend to give the first two or three models. The zero model is just the, the tray model. So it's going to be the one that we use to create the button or uh, the button trays. Or sorry, the to the template, the button template. OK, click on all these. Notice I'm clicking on this little arrow with a flat bar so I can click on the bottom. Now I'm going to hold shift to rotate. 
And every time I teach a course on this, people are amazed about the whole shift to rotate. Um, <laughs> I've gone over that about a hundred times in various videos, but um, it gets missed, I guess. So um, just makes it nice. It turns it in 45 degree increments instead of just randomly. So there we go. We are ready to print. Um, uh, you can see what it looks like, it, how it's hollowed. This is just, you know, uh, unwasted resin that way. And uh, when I print, I'm going to print in the um, dental model resin at 100 microns. Okay, um, that is the layer thickness. It will print just fine. Uh, and you see, you've got model one, two, three, and zero. So zero is the one that will be to generate, you know, to make your your buttons to put on the teeth. Um, and then the rest of them will be treatment trays. Okay, so that's the end of delegation video um, two. And you can see it's a five minute, six minute video. Um, so about 20 minutes to set things up, five minutes to get things printing. And everything else from there on out is just the fabrication. All right, hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much. Bye for now.